Yeah, now technology has advanced so much that machines are increasingly taking over. Humans are continuously being replaced in the AI-enabled world. As a result, it's becoming even more crucial for businesses to embrace beneficial intelligence to future-proof their operations. What does this all mean? Well, let's uh, discuss this now on how businesses can ensure they're up to date with the latest technology with Natalie Davis from Hey Jude a human-powered digital assistant. Afternoon, Natalie. Welcome to today, and thank you very much for your time. Is, is it Hey Jude? It reminds me of a song. Yes, uh, a song or a saint, one of the two. We, okay. we are neither, <laughs> probably closer to the, the, the saint. <laughs> okay, wonderful. Anyway, when I, I saw your press statement, I thought, what is this? I'll find out about it. Okay, now on a serious note, uh, what is it that you are saying to business? What do you mean by uh, beneficial intelligence? So, Dan, firstly, thank you for having me. It's, a, it's an absolute pleasure to, to be your guest. I think what I'm saying is, especially lately, we've got so much, uh, ever since the, the advent of chat GBT, I think businesses have got so caught up in AI and, and machine learning and, and technologies, and we know that the the rapid pace of, of development is, is exponential. Beneficial to intelligence just slows things down a bit and encourages organizations to embrace technologies with a focus on what is the benefit to the customer. Not just It's not just about being efficient or um, having the latest technology and investing millions in it. What, what is the actual ask from a, a customer experience point of view? And that's where beneficial intelligence comes in. So is, it's basically what you're saying, uh, companies and strategies around this whole matter should adopt a more thoughtful approach? Thoughtful and, and, and customer-centric. So, con you know, really considered on what is the, the, the technologies that they are implementing, what is the ultimate benefit to the, the customer and what is the customer going to be experiencing? Yeah, so you've got beneficial intelligence, you've got artificial intelligence. Where's the intersection? Uh, the intersection is where you, you look at what you can implement that's, that's going to benefit the, the customer. At, at Hey Jude, we've, we've done a number of things from a, an app point of view. We've provided intelligence that equips the agent and the human, the clever human in the loop, with assisting our customers with solving day-to-day -day needs and, and problems and, and challenges. I think so often customers when they engage with, with organizations across industry are, are faced with automation or, or AI or, or technologies that sometimes just pushes them from one division to the next. And what we focused on from a Hey Jude perspective is giving our agents the, the customer information and the customer context so that then and there, the customer is able to enjoy an immediate response with the relevant context of their their needs and and their world and them as a consumer so a highly personalized approach i think customers today particularly with the advent of of ai and and technology advancement are expecting a deep personalization when they're dealing with their providers yeah because i mean like everything else ai has got its good side and, and its bad side. So it's important to, 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 to use it in a very responsible way as a business. And also, I guess, ethics will come into it. Very much so. So important as well that when we, we're dealing with, with consumers, we, we're sensitive to what information can be shared beyond a certain point, be it with third parties or um, with certain divisions. So that's actually something else from a, a beneficial intelligence perspective that, that we've implemented is um, being able to redact information in an, in an instant space where relevant. Yeah, you've mentioned one example of uh, beneficial intelligence, which you say must be customer centric. So whatever data analytics that are gathered via AI should be used to improve customer service. Are there any other areas where you see opportunities for businesses as they embrace AI in this uh, responsible, beneficial intelligence manner? Dan, I think there are two. I think the first one that where, where businesses really could, could focus on 
um, leveraging the, the technologies uh, available is to centralize the, the customer view, to have to enable people at the coalface who are dealing with, with their customers, um, to, to enable them to have the information across division, across silos, across the board that equips them with with helping the organization's customers in a meaningful way. So I think that's that's the first one. The, the second one is, is especially with technologies um, at, at the moment, is to be able to pick up on customer sentiment, sentiment on a, a real-time instant basis and and react accordingly. So so gone are the days where you you do a you, you fulfill a request or you complete a service and you wait for the customer to rate you. Um, organizations should be engaging and, and enabling their technology spaces that picks up on customer urgency, customer satisfaction, customer need on a real-time basis and, and in, you know, so delivers that to the, the consumer or, or acts accordingly. Yeah, I understand you've also established a code of conduct. Tell us more about that. Uh, Dan, we've got um, code of conduct uh, across all sorts of requests. So from a Hey Jude perspective, we're a digital, we're a digital assistant that's delivered to, to customers via uh, an app. And where we've been able to engage our, our technology to, to the benefit of our, our consumers is all requests, no, no matter how, how diverse they are, have certain playbooks that um, are dished up to our, our agents as guides in terms of how agents can um, fulfill meaningfully with, within the, the consumer specific context. What about privacy? Privacy is massive. So um, a, again, from a, a tech point of view, even where a customer, let's say a customer inadvertently shares um, the, the ID number or, or any, any sensitive information, the, the system immediately grays or, or blacks that out. So redacts that, that information that it is hidden from the, the individual or the, the human eyes that's engaging with it. So any sensitive information, we, we beg on, on privacy, again, acting as a, a benefit to our customers. Thank you very much. Natalie Davis from Hey Jude, which is a human-powered digital assistant, just breaking it down for us, what businesses should be aware of in this fast-changing technological world as more and more AI is being used. Of course, it's got its good side, but it's got also the bad side. And they are talking something called beneficial intelligence approach.